How are spiritual gifts given? How are they distributed? Well, let's go to the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and then we'll get an understanding to see not only how they're given, but also we'll see why. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4, it says, Now there are varieties of gifts but the same spirit. And there are varieties of ministries and the same Lord. There are varieties of effects, but the same God who works all things in all persons. So this all, these, this is happening to everybody. All these things are happening to all, not every single body, but those who are in him. Look what he says. But to each one is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. Now notice, given. This is not something that you get. This is a passive action. This is something that's happening to you. Who does this to you? Not you. You don't get to determine if the manifestation of the Spirit happens to you. No, that is done. It's given. The manifestation is given of the Spirit to you. Why? And here's the reason why. For the common good, for the benefit of others. Remember, every time we see in the scriptures that the Spirit of God moves on a person, it's not for the benefit of that person, but for everyone else. It is for the growing, the edification of the body. When the Spirit moves, Others are blessed, not necessarily the person that is, that is doing it. You don't heal. You don't have a person doesn't have the ability to heal in the in the Bible for the sake of themselves. We don't see them healing themselves. We don't see someone performing miracles on themselves. We see God doing things to people for the benefit of growing the body. As a matter of fact, Jesus tells the, the disciples in John 15, as he's getting ready to leave, that the spirit is going to come upon them and they will do what? Be witnesses, testify about him. And then we see that in first in Acts 1, him saying the same thing of where he's going to be, they're going to be witnesses to. And then we actually see it happening in Acts 2. What happens? The body is grown. So the, the spiritual gifts or the pneumaticum that he's speaking of, the things of the spirit, they're given. Why? For the benefit of the body. For one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit and to another the word of knowledge according to the same spirit. Another faith by the same spirit, healing by one spirit, another affecting of miracles and prophecies and to another distinguishing of spirits and to another various kinds of tongues and to another the interpretation of tongues. Now, this isn't an exhaustive list. However, the spirit moves is however the spirit moves. However, it shows up is however it shows up. Look what it says. But one and the same spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually just as he wills how he wills. So if you want a particular spiritual gift, doesn't matter. Keep warning. It's not going to do anything for you because it is distributed as he wills. When someone is thinking that a person ought to exhibit certain gifts, and you've heard before about maybe someone speaking in these tongues. And even though I don't think that the tongues that we see today are what we see in the Bible, even still, if a person doesn't do so, it's not them that does it. You don't manufacture or force it. It is the spirit that causes a person to either speak in these different languages or the spirit that causes someone the ability to heal. The spirit causes someone the ability to do whatever these things of the spirit are. It is distributed to them from the Holy Spirit. And as Paul is making the point, because we are part of one body, every part of the body has a function, a specific function to benefit the rest of the body. And he uses the example of the body. My hand is not there to benefit just the hand. The left hand is not there to benefit this hand. If this hand is in trouble, what comes with aid? The other hand, if my foot or my feet, which are used to uphold the body to take us from one place to another, if something happens, that foot, that toe, if I hurt my toe, does not repair itself, does not heal itself, does not fix itself or care for itself. It would be my hands. Same thing with other parts of the body. We are there to benefit the whole of the body, the entirety of the body. And who determines what you are, whether you are a hand, a foot, an eye or ear, whether you have this gift, it is the Lord who does so through the Holy Spirit. The Spirit delivers as or gives as he wills. And why does he do so? For the benefit of others. We've covered this before and looked at the Greek. There is no such example of a person having a spiritual gift and using it to edify or build up, him, build up themselves. But Peter tells us that these gifts were given. We should use these gifts for the benefit of others. And to that point, we don't have an example of anyone in the Bible using these gifts for themselves except to build up others. And so how do you get a spiritual gift or how gifts are distributed? By the Holy Spirit as he wills, as he determines for the benefit of others. Amen.